Here's an update in regards to the Sweet Baby controversy. Now, the person in the video is Danny Lalunders. She is a non-binary gamer, and she works with Cliffhanger developers to make a new game for Black Panther. Now, for this video, we're going to check out her comments and just simply react to it. So, without further hesitation, let us begin. Team of 21 right now uh, for validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for in the game. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for environments to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, and I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe, unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something may be okay, but it was really a microaggression. Now, the question then becomes, what exactly is her ideological leanings when it comes down to this whole entire issue of discriminating people based upon their race at jobs? Now, these are some tweets that I found directly from her Twitter page. It says right here, I didn't apply anything. Racism and prejudice are not the same thing. Racism is systematic. White people are not systematically affected negatively by racism. Certain groups of white people throughout history has been affected by prejudice based upon where they're from. And that's the first comment that we have for this particular developer. Now, the second comment that we have directly from her is the following. I just stopped talking, y'all, seriously, when you start running around saying white people can experience racism because I did not suffer through 2020 for y'all to act where you weren't an ally to Black Lives Matter four years later. Posting that tired-ass screenshot of the Google definition of racism, I just don't care anymore. So, yes, this person, based upon her ideological leanings, thinks that basically black people cannot be racist against white people. She thinks that it requires a system to be racist against a person. But systematic racism is not the only kind of racism out there. There's also individual racism. That is to say that even without the state, a person can act discriminatory towards somebody based upon their racial characteristics. So systematic racism is not the only kind of racism that exists out there. And not just that, but there's also some things that I found directly from her Lincoln page. It says right here that she used to work for a Sweet Baby Incorporated from October 2022 to May 2023, so about eight months that she actually works directly from Sweet Baby. So here we have like another person besides that woman from Kotaku that thinks that you cannot be racist against somebody based upon their race.